Hello, today we shall discuss on goods and service tax related master changes. We have classified the session into three segments. Firstly we shall discuss about GST basics in which we shall explain you about the various components under GST and its impact in different types of trade. Then we shall discuss on the organization hierarchy and counterparty related changes in which we shall explain you the new level which we have introduced in the hierarchy. Also, we shall explain you the counterparty related details which we need to capture. Lastly, we shall discuss on the impact of GST in inventory masters. So, let's get started with the basics. Even though GST is a single taxation system, government has introduced four components under GST regime, that is, integrated GST, central GST, state or union territory GST and compensation cess. You will have to charge various components depending on the nature of trade. Now let's discuss applicability on various trades. Let's first discuss intrastate or say local transaction. If you are sending goods to a customer location, then you will have to charge CGST, SGST and compensation CES. It is important to note that compensation CES is applicable only for certain luxury items. If you are sending goods to your own branch or store within the state, then you don't have to charge or pay any tax on that. This is same as before, but in interstate, irrespective of the destination, be it customer location or your own store or branch, you will have to charge IGST and compensation cess wherever applicable. In case of imports and exports, whenever you import goods, you have to pay IGST on reverse basis. When you are exporting goods, you don't have to worry about GST as it is not applicable on exports. Now let's discuss on organization hierarchy changes. As per our current hierarchy, first we have organization group or let's say company. Then we have operating unit. And underneath that we have own stores or branches. Now we have introduced a new level, that is GSTIN. Now what is GSTIN? GSTIN stands for GST Identification Number. This is a number which you should receive on registering under GST regime. You will have to register for each and every state in which your own store or branch exists. For every state you will receive an unique registration number. Now let's see how you can configure GSTIN in the software. You will have to go to admin, from there select organization and underneath that you will find GST identification number menu. On adding any new GSTIN, first of all you will be asked to enter GSTIN you received from the government. On providing the same, system will automatically populate the state information for you. You will also have to provide registration date here. Also. Here you will have to select GST component wise input and output ledgers as under GST regime you will receive input credit for all the components. Once we are done with configuring GST IN master, now we will have to tag the same to own stores and branches. Now let's see how it can be done. So we are now navigating to retail management to tag the GST IN to my already created own store. Here you can see that GST identification number selection provision has been provided. You can select one here and save the master for changes to get reflected. Post tagging of GST IN to own stores and branches, we will need to capture counterparty GST registration details, that is registration status registration number and registration date. Note, 
we are referring counterparty as your vendors and customers. First let's see how we can input details for vendors. Here in the Finance tab, we have provided GST category or registration status. Categories can be normal registered, composite, exempt or unregistered. You will have to input registration number and date along with status and save the master to update the information. Now to update customers, we need to go to sales and distribution module, and select customer menu. But for customers we have only provided status at customer level. Reason being, a customer can have multi stores or locations in multi states, so customers site wise different GSTIN needs to be captured. In unmanaged and managed customer site masters, we have provided you with GSTIN and registration date input provisions to capture the details as required. Here, we would like to notify you that for each and every master update for GSTIN, we have provided import Excel bulk update provisions to ensure easy and smooth rollout of GST. Till now we discussed on the GST identification number capturing for own store and counterparties with whom you will be dealing with. Now we will discuss on the inventory impact. First let us explain you that we have divided the inventory into 123 setup flow. As the first step, you will have to define GST rates. Now what are GST rates? Government has published 4 to 5 rates which shall be applicable on various goods or services. Like exempt or 0%, 5%, 12%, 18%, and 28%. We have already released these rates along with master's release patch. On patch update, you shall find these masters to be created automatically. You can further add or modify rates as published by the government in future. As the second step, you will have to define HSN and SAC codes and tag GST rates to it. HSN stands for Harmonized System of Nomenclature and it is applicable for goods. SAC stands for Services Accounting Code and it is applicable for services. But you must be wondering what exactly these are? Let's take an example. Suppose you are dealing with a shirt which has 5 colors and is of 5 different sizes. For these combinations, you will have 25 unique barcodes. But government doesn't recognize these barcodes, so what government wants you to do is capture their identification number into your products so that when you upload your invoices in GST portal, they can recognize the products you dealt with. At last, you will have to tag these codes to goods and services. Now let us show you how you can perform these steps one by one. In inventory module, you will find a new tab called product definition, underneath that you will find GST rates. As already communicated earlier, we have released default 5 GST rates along with GST masters patch release. When you add or modify the GST rates, you will have to define component-wise GST rates. Like for this 5% GST rate, we have provided IGST as 5%. CGST as well as SGST as per current law are equally divided. But we have provided you the provision if in case in future government changes the ratio, you can change the same here without any dependency of new patch release. Post adding GST rates, you will need to add HSN or SAC codes. In HSN SAC master, 
you will first have to provide HSN or SAC code as provided by the government for the goods or services you are dealing with. Then you need to select its applicability. Whether it is applicable for goods or services. Now you will have to select effective date-wise GST rates. For example, if we consider July 1st, 2017 as the rollout date, then you will have to select the same in effective date and then select appropriate GST rate for this HSN or SAC code. Note, government recently introduced slab concept on certain goods. We shall be incorporating the same in upcoming release updates. In item master we have provided you an option to tag the HSN codes in the others tab. It is important to note here that we have provided you this provision in all the items import excels for bulk creation and updating purposes. Also, at department level we have provided you with the provision to tag HSN code. Once tagged, on any new item creation under that department, system shall automatically populate the one tagged at department level. You can even change at item level if required. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this session was helpful to you. We shall be releasing transactions soon and similar to this tutorial video, we shall be releasing another video for transactions as well. For any further information please contact help desk. Thank you.